Apple September 7th event under 12 minutes. The iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and iPhone 14 Pro Max were unveiled during Apple's annual iPhone event held September 7, 2022. The updated Apple Watch SE, Apple Watch Ultra, and AirPods Pro 2 were also unveiled by Apple with the new Apple Watch Series 8 models. Apple's far-out presentation lasted more than an hour and a half, but for your viewing pleasures here is a video condensed to minutes and yet comprehensive summary of everything that's new. We've put everything into few minutes video. 1. The new iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus, which have displays that measure 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches, respectively, were introduced by Apple. The A15 Bionic chip with a 5-core GPU and enhanced front and rear cameras are the main new features, as are satellite connectivity for emergency messaging in the US and Canada. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus have the capability to connect to satellite networks in emergency scenarios where conventional cell towers may not be accessible, as was widely speculated. To distinguish them from iMessage or SMS communications, emergency messages sent through the new functionality will show up as gray bubbles within the Messages app. The main design of the iPhone 14 and new iPhone 14 Plus is identical to that of the iPhone 13 models, however the iPhone 13 mini's previous 5.4-inch size has been replaced by a larger 6.7-inch variant. The Retina XDR OLED display on both devices has true tone, haptic touch, and a maximum brightness of 1,200 nits. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus share the same A15 Bionic CPU, which provides quicker graphics, with the iPhone 13 Pro models inside. The wide lens bigger sensor, which enhances low light performance and doubles the speed of the night mode exposure on the Pro models rear cameras. A new 12 megapixel front facing camera with autofocus is present. The iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus also include a new feature called the Photonic Engine. Photonic Engine enhances mid to low light performance for images across all cameras, up to 2x on the ultra wide camera, 2x on the true depth camera and an amazing 2.5x on the new main camera. The 128GB, 256GB, and 512GB versions of the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus will be offered in midnight, blue, starlight, and purple colors. The new iPhone 14 variants go up for pre-order on Friday September 9th, and shipping starts on Friday September 16th while larger iPhone 14 Plus ships Friday October 7th. 2. Apple unveils iPhone 14 Pro with Dynamic Island, always on display, 48 MP camera, and more. In addition to the Dynamic Island to surface alerts and activity in a novel way, a brighter display with always on functionality, the A16 Bionic chip, a more sophisticated camera system, new color options, and other features, Apple unveiled the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max on September 2, 2022. To display crucial warnings, notifications, and activities from maps, music, timers, live activities, battery levels, face ID, and other applications, the dynamic island adjusts and grows into various shapes in real time. It also keeps an active state to make it simpler for users to access controls using a simple tap and hold gesture. With 2000 nits of brightness, an upgraded Super Retina XDR display is up to two times brighter than the one on the iPhone 13 Pro. For the first time, it has always on functionality. The display can slow down to a refresh rate of 1 Hz, displaying iOS 16's new lock screen constantly to provide quick access to the time, widgets, and live activities. With 16 billion transistors, the A16 chip is the first Apple microprocessor created using a 4 nanometers manufacturing process. The new 6 core CPU, according to Apple, has two high-performance cores and four high-efficiency cores that can handle demanding workloads with ease. The processor has a new 16-core neural engine and an enhanced 5-core GPU with 50% greater memory bandwidth. The Pro Camera System and Computational Photography features on the iPhone 14 Pro are supported by A16 Bionic. Apple claims that the new camera hardware is supported by a cooperative effort between the CPU, GPU, neural engine, and image signal processor, which can carry out up to 4 trillion operations each picture. The photonic engine can use deep fusion sooner in the imaging process with the help of the A16, which enhances the device's overall low-light performance. 
a 48-megapixel wide camera with a 65% bigger quad-pixel sensor and second-generation sensor shift optical image stabilization is part of the rear camera system. As a result of the quad-pixel sensor's ability to merge every four pixels into a single huge quad-pixel measuring 2.44 meters, most images taken with it have a 12MP resolution and better low-light capture. Pro RAW is the sensor's preferred format. In addition to the 3x from the real telephoto camera, the 48-megapixel wide camera offers a new 2x telephoto perspective and is capable of recording 4K video without using a digital zoom. Additionally enhanced is the ultra-wide camera. A new adaptive back flash with 9 LEDs has up to 3 times better uniformity and is up to twice as bright. Additionally, the iPhone 14 Pro has a new dual-core accelerometer with crash detection, a better front-facing camera with an f 1.9 aperture and autofocus, and emergency SOS with satellite connectivity. When cellular connection is unavailable, emergency SOS via satellite enables customers to connect directly to a satellite and communicate with emergency services. With Find My, users can manually broadcast their location over satellite. As before, the iPhone 14 Pro offers all-day battery life. Along with silver and gold, the new gadgets come in additional color options like space black and deep purple. With SIM as the only option, the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max do away with the SIM tray for US models. The price for the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max remains $999 and $1099, respectively. Pre-orders start on Friday, September 9th, and the product will be available starting on Friday, September 16th. 3. Apple Watch Series 8 announced with new body temperature sensor, car crash detection, and more. The Apple Watch Series 8 was also unveiled by Apple sharing the same general aesthetic as the Series 7 but featuring a bigger display with beveled edges. A new body temperature sensor created for women's health applications, such as determining when ovulation has happened, is one of the Series 8's most notable new features. Every 5 seconds throughout the night, the new sensor in the Series 8 takes the wearer's wrist temperature. The user can receive notifications through the health app when their baseline temperature changes, which may be caused by illness, exercise, or jet lag. The body temperature sensor permits calculations of cycle deviation and retrospective ovulation. The new sensor combines with the existing heart rate sensor and the ECG app to provide customers with a thorough experience. In the unfortunate event of a serious auto accident, a new automobile crash detection capability added to Series 8 devices can enable automatic connection with emergency services, offer location, and inform emergency contacts. The Series 8 has a new 3-axis gyroscope and high G-force accelerometer that make this possible. The battery life of the Apple Watch Series 8 is still up to 18 hours, as it was in previous versions, but watchOS 9 adds a new low-power mode that disables several functionalities including the always-on display and workout recognition to increase battery life. The Apple Watch Series 8 can run for up to 36 hours per charge when low-power mode is used. Pre-orders for the Apple Watch Series 8 can be made right now and it will be delivered on Friday, September 16th. For GPS and cellular variants, the Series 8 starts at $399 and $499, respectively. It comes in the following aluminum colors, Product, Midnight, Starlight, and RED. Silver, Gold, and Graphite finish options are available for Series 8 models made of stainless steel. 4. Apple Watch Ultra with large screen design for athletes and explorers. The Apple Watch Ultra, a new feature-rich wristwatch for sports and explorers, was unveiled by Apple at their far-out media event today. It features an entirely new design, a sizable flat sapphire crystal display, an additional programmable action button, and cellular connectivity as standard. The 49mm titanium case boasts a larger, more powerful digital crown and the brightest Apple Watch display to yet with 2000 nits, which is two times as bright as previous models. It now has a battery life of 36 hours, but with a new low-power battery optimization setting, that battery life might increase to 60 hours. Workouts, compass waypoints, backtrack, and other functions can all be accessed instantly with the new action button, which is a high-contrast international orange color. Additionally, the Apple Watch Ultra has three built-in microphones to enhance voice calls audio quality, as well as highly sophisticated wind noise reduction algorithms to produce calls with clearer more understandable audio. 
a new dark mode is available, and the Wayfinder watch face has room for up to eight complications and an integrated compass. Additionally, the watch sports an integrated depth gauge and a new dual-frequency GPS with personalized position algorithms to pick up GPS signals in challenging terrain. Stride length, ground contact time, vertical oscillation, and running power are some of the new advanced running metrics introduced in the most recent watchOS 9, and new workout views like segments, splits, and elevation provide crucial metrics that can make use of the larger display on the Ultra by displaying important metrics. The Apple Watch Ultra starts at $799 and pre-orders open today with availability set for September 23rd. 4. AirPods Pro with H2 chip for up to 2x noise cancellation and more. The new AirPods Pro resemble the first models in appearance. Users can now swipe up or down on the stem's new touch control feature to change the volume, and in addition to small, medium, and large silicon ear tips, there is now also an excess size option. Apple claims that the new AirPods Pro offer richer bass and crystal clear sound over a wider spectrum of frequencies thanks to the H2 processor, a new low distortion audio driver, and a unique amplifier. Transparency mode has also been upgraded to better minimize harsh environmental noises, such as a passing car siren, construction equipment, or loudspeakers at a performance. Active noise cancellation has been improved by up to two times. There is a new personalized spatial audio feature that is uniquely tailored to the size and shape of a person's head and ears. The new AirPods Pro will be available to order this Friday, September 9th, with pricing set at $249 in the United States, which is the same price as the original. The second-generation AirPods Pro will be available on September 23rd.